Here's where I screwed up. When I was younger, I thought that all I needed to do was invite Christ to my life and that would fix all my problems, but it didn't. But the preacher said that if I invited him in, that everything would be okay, but it wasn't. As I've grown in my relationship with God, this is one of the realizations that I've had. When I say things like I'm going to invite him into my life, I'm making it about me, my schedule, my agenda, my problems. And the issues that I had, the anger, the resentment, the addictions, all that stuff just got worse. But isn't he supposed to fix all that? Major discouragement. But then one day I had a realization. I had been inviting him to join me in life, making it about me, and he had been inviting me to life. What? I began to realize that I had just invited him in to fix my problems, not to pursue him. And that's a problem. Don't get me wrong, God wants to fix them. But I was doing it backwards. Because when I started pursuing the life he had invited me to, I began to pay less attention to my problems and more attention to the life that he had led me to. And while I was out there pursuing the life he had led me to, he was back there fixing all my issues. Is that not crazy? So instead of inviting him into our life and making it about us, we should pursue the life he's invited us to. And when we do that, God fills us up with love, kindness, gentleness, patience, self-control. So we're also known as the fruits of the Spirit. And without even knowing it, it forces all those other things out of us. When I stopped trying to force God into my agenda and started pursuing him and his agenda, he filled me up with fruit that pushed all that crap out of my life. Be fruitful, my friends.